Secrets of the Toastmasters International System. What makes the success formula work? The first question is, why this topic? After participating in the Toastmasters program for over five years, having served as a club officer for three terms, having served my club as a president, after learning, following, and leveraging the system, both personally and for the benefit of my club, after having served for over one year as a district officer and having visited and participated in many club meetings beyond my home club, I can honestly say that my experiences indicate to me that people don't clearly understand the power of the Toastmasters International System. That's not to say that people aren't having positive experiences or growing personally and professionally. I have seen many people blossom and I have heard many positive stories and testimonials from current and former members. The shameful part is that it's as if we've been given the keys to a high performance race car and have no idea of the potential of what we have in our hands. I don't think that this is true of everyone, but I do believe that it is true of the majority. Yes, that is correct. In my opinion, over 50% of the people involved in Toastmasters, some of them who are serving as club officers and even district officers, have no clue of what they are a part of or the potential that it has to change people's lives, their own included, for the better. If you have traveled to enough clubs, then you will know as I do that there is such a vast difference between the high performing clubs and the underachieving low standards clubs that when you visit the contrasts, it's hard to imagine that the extreme variances are even associated with the same organization. I found myself perplexed in asking questions like, have some long since forgotten or did they never really know why the organization exists? Can't they see the power of the education program and the genius of the system? Why don't people see the need for accountable administration? Is it so difficult to understand the impact of a team of catalysts? One person cannot do the job alone or they will eventually burn out and besides that they aren't developing other leaders if they choose to shoulder the load alone. Why does the concept of consistently offering quality showpiece meetings elude some people? We are only as strong as the weakest link in the chain and what we role model matters. My objectives by delivering this information are to provide the definition of a system, explain how the system works, Outline what makes the system work. Explain the role that members play in the system. Offer suggestions for maximizing the system. Anyone for deep sea fishing? I'd like to share a quick story regarding a recent fishing adventure I went on while vacationing on the island of Kauai. We had expertise, seasoned veterans with over 40 years of combined experience. The boat was a seaworthy vessel designed for the high seas. The engine was robust and well-maintained. We had sophisticated equipment and technology, all the better to see those fishes with. Communication devices included cell phones, radios, the works. We had safety procedures and flotation devices, all the necessary equipment to meet and exceed regulatory requirements. The location? What else do I need to say? Gorgeous. The agenda. We were on a schedule and we had a mission to complete. What does it all add up to? Based on what was explained, did the captain, deckhand, and charter boat have a system? Sure they do. How would you define or describe the system? They have a combination of sophisticated, high-tech equipment, low-tech tools, and experienced personnel that are intended to work together to locate, hook, 
and land Monsters of the Deep for paying customers. How was the experience? The passengers had high expectations. We expected that the crew would leverage the system and, with some luck, we would land those Monsters of the Deep. What actually happened? The big one got away due to a failure to effectively communicate. As a matter of fact, more than one big one didn't get landed in the boat. The outcome was disappointment, frustration, anger, humiliation, awkward silence, and ultimately a negative experience. Have you ever heard of a Toastmaster member who experienced some of these emotions? Unfortunately, some of them are the same ones who write about their bad experience on the internet and spoil the chances of others to experience a positive and rewarding experience. Lessons learned at sea. Having a system is important. Experience and expertise matters. Understanding the system is vital. Establishing expectations is essential. Communication and education is critical. Acquiring and sharing knowledge makes the difference. A price is paid for making avoidable mistakes. Overview of the Toastmasters International System Toastmasters International is like the corporate headquarters of a franchise. They are the mothership. Toastmasters International has 90 years of history behind them and during this time period they have experienced pretty much every scenario known to man. Through trial and error they have figured out what works and more importantly they have also figured out what doesn't. Applying the theories of adult education they have outlined proven methods for achieving optimal results with individual members. Their years of distilled wisdom have helped them to create a formula that is a predictor of club health and success, and we call it the Distinguished Club Program. They supply us with practical, affordable tools and resources.